Hey there guys, Zach here from InBeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10074. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10061. This build is technically also newer than build 10102 which we previously saw a bunch of different changes in so the majority of changes in that newer build are apparent in this older build even though this older build is newer than that newer build. So um... Lots of confusion, but this build, it, all in all, build 10074 has a newer compilation, compilation, is that a word? A newer compiled date than build 10102, so uh, technically this build is newer, but uh, the other build has a higher build number. Now that's out of the way, let's actually talk about its new features. Like I said, the majority of features in build 10102 are apparent in this build. That includes the new sound system, so if we go into uh, the sounds area here and play some sounds. Not all of them are new though, so if we go down to critical stop, actually that one is new, uh, which one is not new? Device connect, that one's the one from Windows 8, so like I said, not all of them are new, but the majority of them are, and they are very nice. They are a nice refresh from that found on Windows 8 and Windows 7. Not only that, but Cortana now behaves differently in this build. When searching from the start menu, she now morphs into the start menu instead of just overlaying on it. So if we search for an app such as Spartan, you'll see here Cortana has a nice left hand hamburger menu which you can jump between. So you can go to settings, you can go to places, reminders, notebook, home and so on. And also you get the hamburger menu which pops out like that. Uh, a lot cleaner I guess. It looks a bit updated which is fantastic. So uh, they are some good changes there. In the settings app, you'll notice up here, we've now got a bunch of, uh, no, I guess this is for touch. So if we go into Windows Update and go into Advanced Options, we can actually just go back or we can just restart straight at the beginning. So if we go into Windows Update again and go press that, we go straight back to the beginning. I believe that's a new change. If not, my apologies, but that's just something I've noticed in this build. If we enable tablet mode, you'll notice that uh, Cortana, when we use Cortana, uh, takes the full height of the screen. And I guess this is so it, it improves use with tablets. You can now easily just access Cortana functions with your left hand thumb, whereas before you had to open up the hamburger menu to actually get access to those features. So um, a nice new change there as well. And also down here, the, um... oh, when we open it up, uh, the buttons are bigger, but that's always been the case with Windows. So that's not really a change. The new aero like transparency blur effect is apparent in this build as well. Although I can't seem to find a UI switch to enable or disable it. It wasn't enabled by default for me. However, it apparently it has been enabled by default for some others. So if it's not enabled for you by default and you want to try it out, just navigate to HK current user software, Microsoft Windows, current version themes personalize enable blur behind it should already be there and just set its value to one once you do that restart your computer and as you'll see here you now have the arrow like blur effect behind the start menu and on the taskbar you'll also notice that there are turn live tile on and off buttons i don't believe this is in 10061 i may be wrong but they are here now and also the the new 3d flip tile is apparent in this build as well so if we turn the live tile off and back on again you'll see that the tile flips about all nice and great let's do that again let's also make this one larger let's just see what see what it looks like on the large tile it didn't work let's try that again in case it's not working, I need it to update first. But yeah, it works on all the different tile sizes, which is fairly nice. Uh, one of the last changes in this build, I guess, is the branding of the technical preview. No longer is it the Windows 10 technical preview. It's now known as the Windows 10 Insider Preview, and that's because Windows 10 is getting close to RTM. It's no longer in its technical stage. It's actually past that now, and since we're close, to, well, I say we're close, we're a couple months away from RTM, so things are starting to mature and the final implementations are starting to begin starting to begin starting there you go <laughs> anyway guys that's about it for this video thanks so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one bye bye i'll just give you the winfer there as well there you go build 10074 expires on the first uh, the 10th of january 2015 ta -ra.